Hello creative people, welcome back to the brand new After Effects tutorial by Mr. Abbi. In this video, we are going to create the underwater logo like the Aquaman movie using Adobe After Effects CC. So guys, we will create it all for today, so let's get started and have some fun. Create a new composition. I'm using a 1920 by 1080 pixels composition at 25 frames per second. Now drag the footage on the project panel. I'll give you the footage link in the description below, so feel free to use it. Now press N to trim the work area. Then right click on your mouse and select trim comp to work area. Now right click on your video and go to effect, then go to perspective and select 3D camera tracker. Also you can go to effects from the top, then go to perspective and select 3D camera tracker. Now the 3D camera tracker will analyze your footage in the background and create different tracking points for your footage. After tracking is complete, you will see the tracking point on your footage. If you drag your mouse pointer on any point, then you will see the preview of the perspective. You have to find the best perspective that will look realistic to your footage. After finding the perfect perspective, right click on the point. Then select any of these from the list, but I will go with the null and camera. Now drag your logo on the project panel and place it on the composition. Now right click and pre-compose the logo so that we can replace the logo anytime. Now activate 3D for the logo composition. Now the logo is moving with the video. Now open transform and adjust the X, Y and Z rotation value to make the perspective realistic. Now press P to open position and increase the second position value. Now change the blend mode into overlay. Press T to open opacity then decrease the opacity to make it more realistic. Now go to effects and presets and search for wave warp. Then drag the effect on the logo composition. Adjust the wave height, width and direction to make it perfect. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. We are going to use it as our shadow layer. Now go to effects and search for CC radial fast blur. 
then drag the effects on the shadow layer. Now change the center position depending on the light direction of your footage. And increase the amount just a little bit. Again go to effects and search for drop shadow. Now drag the effect on the shadow layer. Now play with the number to get the perfect result. Yeah, everything looks good. Now decrease the opacity a little bit to make it realistic. Now RAM preview this. So guys I really hope that you enjoyed the video, give a thumbs up to my video, also subscribe my channel for more videos. Thank you. See you next time, till then have some fun.